Hi everyone, let me introduce to you my friend Harry, who is a speech robot. He will take us through the case study of Coca-Cola today. I will also be asking some questions to him then and there during this video in order to make this video look like an interactive session for you and also an interesting one. So Harry, now it's over to you. Hi everyone. I am Harry. Today let's see the case study of Coca-Cola about how Coca-Cola achieves 6% additional revenue with 15% fewer restocking trips. This video also explains about vending analytics. Before exploring this case study, I would request you to subscribe 5 Minutes Learning channel in YouTube and support me to post more such videos. Also by subscribing, you can keep track of my video updates. For your better understanding, I have enabled this video with English subtitles. Now let's begin the case study, from a small case study video. What does the Coke have a lot of as assets? It's got great brands, great people, great expertise. But one of the things that's untouched was data. And so we wanted to unlock that. We combine really advanced data science with sort of human-centered design to solve real problems. I'm Jason Hosking. Uh, I'm one of the co-founders and CEO of Hybury. We're explorers in business impact, drilling for opportunities. I'm Frankie Jamaki, and I'm the Chief Operating Officer for Hybury. Hybury is all about unlocking rich worlds of data to help business leverage that insight. Vending Analytics is Hivery's first product and it was really developed by coordinating and collaborating with one of the Coke bottlers, Coca-Cola Amatil here in Australia. Coca-Cola Amatil has approximately 30,000 vending machines around Australia. Each one of them is like a little mini retail outlet, but it's a retail outlet that has limited shelf space. How do you stack a vending machine for maximum sale and reduce the time to revisit that, that vending machine? We're able to identify which products will sell in each individual machine and how much of each product to put in that machine for optimum operations. To drive efficiencies, when a driver goes to restock that machine, they want it to be as empty as possible, but with no products selling out. We are able to reduce the amount of visits that are required to restock shelves or restock a fridge and drive significant cost savings. Instead of you going every 20 days to fill that machine, you go every 40 days. Each one of those outlets is optimized to drive maximum revenue and maximum cost efficiencies. So that original pilot with Coca-Cola Amatil drove a 15% revenue uplift and an 18% reduction in costs. And now that we're live in deployment and uh, every Coca-Cola Amatil vending machine in Australia is optimized using our technology, using the vending analytics system, we're seeing results actually in advance of those original pilot numbers. That's a good one, Harry. In the nutshell, can you explain us what is vending analytics all about? In today's world, 90% of the world's collected digital data was created in the last few years. We are collecting data at an exponential rate, and the opportunities to become more intelligent and more efficient are seemingly endless. In fact, most organizations are currently using only about 12% of the immense amount of data they collect. The remaining 88% of data is currently untapped and is being stored without being put to use. As a vending machine operator, you probably have more data than you realize, like demographics in the area surrounding your vending machine, the purchase history of each machine, the price history, etc. One of the biggest problems faced by most vending machine operators is not lack of data, but rather an ability to leverage it to improve the top and bottom line. Vending analytics is the world's first artificial intelligence application for vending. Vending analytics learns over time by using a company's own sales data to recommend product assortment, space to sales, and price at an individual vending machine level. The result is a set of actionable strategies that allow a vending machine operator to get the best return on each individual machine. Harry, what is the relationship between artificial intelligence and Coca-Cola? 
and also explain us why it was introduced? Sure. It all started off with a simple experiment in Newcastle, looking at 60 vending machines managed by Australia's Coca Cola bottling partner, Coca Cola Amatil, which is known as CCA. The goal is to prove AI thinks differently and that we could stick vending machines better to make additional profit. After training our AI system, we gave our recommendations to CCA and asked them to execute our recommendations in market. CCA went all out, executed the recommended changes on the 60 machines, and after few months, they saw a 15% increase in sales and 18% reduction restock visits. Our self-learning algorithms look at the entire vending fleet differently. They learned the individual trading behaviors of each machine. They started seeing patterns and opportunities for a particular machine to drive better revenue through better product assortment, as well as space or price opportunities, and then recommended the optimal action to take. Due to our success within Australia, we have expanded the AI into the US and other parts of Asia. Prior to deploying the AI tool, designing machine planograms was based on a limited set of location characteristics. The drivers filling the machines were given some freedom in making adjustments to the planograms based on their personal knowledge of an account's characteristics. The company's existing software selected the products and determined when the machines needed service based on the machine's sales histories. Vending machine revenue was declining before Coca Cola launched the AI solution in 2016. Prior to using the AI tool, it was necessary to import data from different sources and use spreadsheets. The AI tool is one self contained unit that is easy to use and makes more intelligent decisions faster. It only takes two minutes for the AI tool to do a high quality optimization. Harry, can you please tell us how does the system works in terms of identifying actions? The company's cloud-based retail software identifies the right product, the right space to sales ratio, and the right promotional activity for products in every one of Coca-Cola bottling vending machines. The Hivery's AI software sits atop the existing vending machine management software. The AI software has a build planogram function that generates a planogram, which is a visual diagram that details the placement of every product in the machine within two minutes, against 20 minutes time taken by existing management software. The tool prescribes changes to the planogram on per machine basis. The tool also does a what if analysis for a product that the company might consider placing in a machine. There is no need for the company to actually test the product to determine how it will perform in the field. Let's see some examples of how the AI software was making product placement decisions that would be impossible for a human. For example, in one of the hospital emergency room, the vending machine carried only one facing of the monster energy drink instead of the usual 15 to 20 facings. The AI took into account of people visiting emergency rooms who don't usually buy energy drinks. Let's see few more examples to explain what impact the AI tool would have on machine sales and service needs. In one sports and entertainment stadium, the AI tool allocated two rows in the machines to Minute Maid lemonade beverages. This was because the machine was patronized by roadies who tend to drink a lot of lemonade. It was optimizing based on that specific occasion and that specific consumer set. No beverage driver would have allocated two rows of lemonade in the machine. Fine, Harry. Now, can you summarize the results of using artificial intelligence in Coca Cola? Once the AI tool was deployed company wide, by the end of 2017, it delivered 6% additional revenue and 15% fewer restocking trips. The improvement that AI has delivered to beverage vending has implications for other industries as well. 
an investment in AI and human machine collaboration can improve consumer goods revenues by 51% and deliver 10% change in employment. Other industries that stand to gain from this collaboration include health, telecommunications, retail, professional services, financial services, chemical and automotive. Thank you all for watching this video. If you have not subscribed yet, please support me by subscribing 5 Minutes Learning Channel in YouTube to keep in track of my new video updates. Thank you, Harry. Thank you, friends, for watching this video. Signing off now. We'll see you soon in another case study with Harry.